Hello YouTube viewers. I am back with you today to show you a little tip about uh, Outward. Uh, so there's this thing now, a guy by the name of Emerald Joker, that's Emerald Joker on YouTube, uh, presented a video today um, about console commands for the Outward game, the game Outward. Really interesting. Uh, now, I would not recommend this unless you are a veteran player, um, if you've already played it a couple times. Uh, I wouldn't do it while being a new player or starting a new game because it will destroy the game for you. It will make it boring, and you will not want to play it. Trust me. So, uh, for what you do is you go into Notepad. You just open up Notepad. From your computer, you go to File, Save As, and you create a file called debug.txt, and you save that in your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Outward, Outward Data folder. Inside the Outward Data folder, your Steam library, you create a file and name it debug. Dot text and you put debug in all caps all caps debug dot txt debug dot text put that file in your outward data folder and go into the game and start one of your characters and the way you can tell if it's worked is when you click on a character it will show all of your individual save files that it normally does not show the bottom one will be the oldest save file. Think of it as like level one. And the top one will be your newest save file, say level 10, 12, whatever. So you click on your save file and go into the game. Come on, come on. And once you're in the game, if you hit F1, that will pull up the item spawn menu. That is this over here. You see, it even has its own search box. You can type in, say we want some boots. It will pull up all the boots in this game. Um, over desert boots. All right, and to get back out of it, you hit F1 or escape. And there we have the desert boots. Pretty neat, huh? And that's not it. Y'all, you have all the items that you can get in game. You even have, check this out, you even have, let's type in silver. You can get currency. Now, I wouldn't recommend that. Here's your slider down here. So you click on silver. And you can slide it all the way up to 999. But the more silver you are carrying, the more weight it will add to your character. So if you're not a high level with a high, a high capacity for weight, um, it will ruin you. You will be stuck. You can't go anywhere. Now also, if you press the escape menu, up in the top right, you notice a cheat and an item spawn button. You can also access the item spawn that way. And then you also have access to this little cheat menu window. <coughs> now this would be helpful, excuse me. This may be helpful if you're in the game and you're stuck. Or say you lose your backpack full of really... Say you're going from Chersonese to Levant and you're carrying all your silver in your backpack and... Some schmuck kills you, puts you in a prison, and you have no you no longer have access to your backpack. Well, instead of losing all that money, you can actually fix that. And come back in here and change everything to where you were before. You got schmuckified. Um, you can make your enemies invincible. Uh, you have a speed multiplier. If you get stuck, you can just click this little help I'm stuck button. Uh, you have alternative cam mode. You can make your equipment non-degradable. 
Enable your mana without having to go to the mountains. So that'd be great for test characters uh, or for YouTube characters. Uh, if if you are affected by inventory weight or not, um, you know. So this would be a good one to check if you had you know bazillions of silver. But uh, they're all pretty much self-explanatory. You know, show the time of day, uh, show your character's coordinates, blah 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 blah. Uh, you know, so I thought I would throw it out there. Uh, this is also a uh, teleport menu. You can go to the Emmercar Forest, Levant, uh, Sierzo, other cities. Pretty pretty interesting, um, especially for YouTube. For content creators, there's also a list and if you, for, for content creators, um, F12 will take a screenshot and let's see see f4 pulls up your quest me yes quest me whether or not you have a completed quest uh, f2 debug menu or cheat menu whatever you want to call it check out f3 f3 is your skill cheats menu Enable or disable, basically add or remove skills. Left shift plus H, letter H plus F shift will hide your GUI, which is great for taking those F12 screenshots. There's a screenshot with both F12 and with Steam. Jeff O. Huey. Nice. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.